this goes well. What's good, everybody? This is your girl, Bella J. I decided to go live because my cell phone has no space. I'm busy editing other stuff, and I just need to clear out my phone. Basically, I need to upgrade it as well. So, we are working on a crazy quilt coaster, which um, I spoke earlier on my Sunday morning chit-chat that for batting, we were using a t-shirt, and this t-shirt is stained. Clean, but stained. This t-shirt is um, Faded Glory. I believe I got this either from Target or Walmart or somewhere, but it is an old discolored white tee that will never, ever get white again. And if you can make it go white, then so be it. But I'm just saying repurpose. So I've already cut out a piece as well as cut out the bottom hem which we're going to use for, um, I can't think of it, basting tape around the corners. <laughs> Whatever. I can't think of it right now. My brain just went freaking see. All right. So I had already started this. I need to thread my machine because the thread came out. Oh, yeah. Isn't it fun when... When the thread comes out the machine. So I hope that you are tuning in. I haven't went sewing. I haven't went live sewing. I don't remember ever doing that. If I did, please forgive me. We are not using the normal, I mean, what is normal? We're not using the norm as far as thread is concerned. I'm using brown thread. I really could care less. Thread is thread. There's nothing for perfection right about now. So if you're new to my crazy quilt, so we're, so S-E-W-S-O, goodness. I like to sew with a quarter seam allowance. And I like to use the presser foot as my guideline since I'm not comfortable yet with um, understanding the plate. It just hasn't sunk in. It hasn't registered. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to show you how to put two pieces together. I already did this. So let me cut the excess thread off. That's the one thing when you're sewing, you have to have like a... A lint roller, the tape, the scotch bright or something to catch all these threads so much. So now, here we go. I'm going to take and add something to this side. Let's get a piece. Let's see what we can find here with my scraps. Or we can take another piece. It's no, no biggie. We are going to do, no, we could do purple. Here we go. We have a purple piece. Welcome whoever's there. I'm sorry I can't see your name or see who it is, but we are focusing on sewing. Long piece, pretty size facing. So this is purple eggplant and I'm putting it right size facing, seam to seam. And now I'm putting this underneath my presser foot. Bringing my needle. I like to hold my thread down with my finger out here to help prevent them from pulling and losing my spot. I think that's one of the worst things to happen while you're sewing is that your thread, you're rolling, you're bringing your needle down and the thread comes out and you're like, really? That's how I feel. So I am gonna reverse stitch. Guiding it. I'm not pulling, I'm not pushing, nothing. I'm 
making sure my seams are together. I see why everybody has like an iron on the side. So this is what it looks like. See, now we have three pieces. One, two, three. And then you would keep on from there. So the whole point for this project is take your crazy quilt, however you did it, any quilt tops that you have that you did while we was sewing together or something you just put together right now, take it, put it together. We are using a piece, a pair of khaki pants that belong to my daughter. They're broken, so I don't already wash them or they were already clean. And I kept them. I love the material. It's durable. Cotton t-shirt that has a stain on it. Repurposing as batting instead. And the crazy quilt top. I've already sewed across one piece. Now we're going to continue on, okay? Um, right there so I hope you can see I'm just just sewing this is what I like to do okay We're going to cut off this extra piece right here. These are some nice clippers. Um, thread snippers. I got this from a sewing shop and off of 42nd Street that does fix machines. They don't fix it there, but they take your machine, give you a ticket, and you come back a week later or however many days they tell you to come back and they will have your machine, your baby, fixed. So that's something to think about. professional ladies and gentlemen so please no judgments here really no time for that so I have a story to tell you I went to a fashion show for Ashley Nell Tipton Ashley Nell Tipton Tip Tipton you know who I'm talking about the project runway um winner so I wore a blouse that I altered, a men's uh, work shirt that I took off the sleeves, made sleeveless, extended it, used black thread like an idiot, of course, and it really was not perfect at all. And I did the darts for the, for the breast right here, facing down instead of facing up, and someone pointed that out to me. I was like, okay, not too loud, but it was well noticeable. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm still new to this. This is not like my forte, but, you know, it is what it is. But it was, I got to meet Ashley. I got to meet Tess um, Holiday. It was really just an amazing, amazing event, literally. I loved it. So now I want to make sure I don't go past this seam. So I'm going to turn it over both sides I'm checking finger in it holding my thread down I don't want to lose it So now we have a piece. It's sewn together. Nothing, just something simple. Now this is um, a, a six by five. Let me see which way is it going. Okay. So 
approximately a six by five, but I'm gonna do less. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, sweetie, how are you? Wait a minute, you was there at that at that um fashion show on 34th Street in Herald Square when Tess Holiday was fashioning her clothing? Because I have the pictures, it's on my Instagram. You have to look back at the pictures, it's there. It was an amazing event, amazing. And I stayed and waited to meet um, Ashley. And um, I got to meet Tess and wow, to see her in person, which is everything. Oh, you, pff, girl. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of that clothing line, Additionnel, Additionnel. It's at, it was at Lord & Taylor's and I went to that fashion show about two years ago, I believe, no at least just about three years ago. And again, those pictures are on my Instagram. Can y'all hold it for one second? I have to turn off the oven. So stay right here. I'll be right back. I'm making pork loin barbecue. Oh, sorry. Juji, do not jump on my computer, on my desk. You still there, Lorraine? <laughs> I am over here. I had to rush. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what else I'm making with it, but it's hot in here. Listen closely. There is no AC on. I have my windows open. It's crazy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just cut around it. You know, <laughs> you can make this perfect if you want or not. I don't like perfection. Perfection is overrated. Honestly, it is. So I wanna get this as close to that line so I can cut it. And it's, when I say it's hot in here, it's hot. I am sweating like a pig, oink, oink. I'm just using a simple ballpoint pen. I am not pleasing anyone. Let's get this real. Let this get this correct. I'm not pleasing anyone on this project. This is just something crazy to put together. We got that. That's doable. This is not doable. not doable I am hot like a banshee is that even correct hot like a banshee Jesus Christmas what's wrong with me I'm hot like a banshee okay I'm just marking off okay so I've already marked down I'm gonna bring it up a little further I marked it and it's okay because we're using this as the binding tape. We're using the edge of a t-shirt. So get your scissors. Oh gosh, I gotta find my peeking shit. Oh, they're out there in the living room. I'm not getting up again. When I say I'm hot, I'm hot. Yes, I could use a rotary, but I'm not going to. I don't want to. No. No, no, no. I am hot. That's what happens when you put on the oven. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna use my my t-shirt. Nope, we're gonna use my other one. Let me give you a TMI. Hi, what's good? Let me give you all a TMI. Do you see what day today is? September thirtieth. I haven't gotten my period for two months. If that's not the change of life, I don't know what is, and I don't appreciate that. I did get the feeling, you know, like I was cramping and all that. Oh my gosh, I wanted to die. Nothing. Like, really? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so, even though I did the back, you see the front? This is the front, and this is the back. The back is off. So, I'm gonna just cut along this, just to make it a little straighter. I am because I swear I'm the best. I'm really not. I'm a, I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. I am hot like. Ugh. Oh, that, that door has to open up. Yeah. take with all my t-shirts okay this is why I want to cut off my hair let's keep it real I want my hair off this is why I chopped it off this is why I've relaxed my hair this is why I don't wear my hair curly like this because this is an all clean fro from yesterday and bedhead today and I put my bows in to bring it back it doesn't help I'm hot okay t-shirt so I am opening up my hem this is not perfect at all far from it I should have ironed it but I didn't because I'm awesome somebody kept sending something about that female blackout they're inboxing me that. Okay. So, as you know with your t-shirt, you have a hem, right? So what I did was I cut the t-shirt hem on the top stitch, not the lower one, the first stitch closest to the this part. So I guess it's the lower stitch is two stitches. Look at your t-shirt and you're gonna see that it's double stitched. You're gonna use the one closest to the hem, cut along that. And that's how you get this baby. Where did it go? This. So we're gonna sew this on. I wanna sew this. Seam to seam, all the way around. I'm gonna show you. I really, one day, one day ladies who knows what's gonna happen whether i get a new camera a setup whatever so i am definitely going again a quarter inch seam allowance towards the edge bringing my needles down holding the thread breeze feels good making sure because this is uh that knit material that tends to curl up so i'm making sure it's laying flat i think this is my first sewing live oh. i find it amusing i don't know how to do this over 
triangular. Hopefully I could do this. Okay, so we're gonna bring it back. Bring it back down. Okay. I want to bring my needle down before I turn the corner. So I'm lifting up because my needle is down so that I can turn. The same thing goes when I'm coming close to the edge. I got to fold. I have to do this again. But if you want to know how to add binding tape, uh, I'm trying to see who the best person. I learned from Crafty Gemini, Whitney Souls, um, anyone who's a quilter. Missouri Quilts, you can look at Darlene Michaud, M-I-C-H-A-U-D. She's pretty good. That's where I got the crazy quilt um, thing from her. I love it. Wonky quilting, crazy quilting. And mind you, okay, she doesn't reply. That's fine. It, it's, it's fine and then it's not. But she has great consistency and I learned so much from her. And so I still watch. From time to time when I'm not doing my self-help videos <sighs> yeah I, I have to you have to definitely take care of yourself no one is gonna take care of you and you have this one life that you're blessed with I mean I'm far from perfect I'm not I am not perfect. Okay. Trying to get the side folded. We're going to, if I can find a video, find a video on how to add binding tape. Um, I believe Whitney Souls, I watched her video on how to make binding tape and I found it to be so awesome. Like, I learned so much from her and Whitney so she's amazing she has a giveaway if it hasn't already closed twist and turn twist and turn I can't believe I'm live hi I don't know who's there I know Lorraine is there Colt B, Miss J. Coleman. I'm going to call it J. Another J. Hope Laura's with us. And Shirley. I hope y'all are here. y'all know my afro is five inches this sucker is thick i got a thick mop top just dunk me in the water dunk me if you strong enough to pick me up turn me over and mop the floor with me knock yourselves out double dog theory i swear Okay. We're turning the corner. I don't know what made me think of taking the t-shirt and doing this, but this is a repurposed project, so you want to repurpose stuff that's in your home. So this is the joke that I've been giving ladies to learn how to sew. I tell them when your husband gets mad at you, your boyfriend gets mad at you, just sew their sleeves shut. You know, they they wouldn't even know it. They go to put their arm through the sleeve and they can't. Or their boxers or their pants. I know that's so mean. But I was just, you know, like a gag gift, a gag. Listen, never mess with a woman and a sewing machine. 
That's all I gotta say. Never mess with the ladies and the sewing machines. Sorry for all that noise you hear in the background. It is beautiful day here in New York and the kids are out and about. And my daughter's on the phone. Okay, so here we go. We're going to the last turn. Ooh, yay! So I wanna take this last piece and I'm gonna cut it on an angle. Oh yeah, I'm good. Yay, we're there. Okay, so let me show you. And on the other side, it shows the threads are going to show. So now we're going to flip this over. We're going to flip this over. So I don't even know what the heck I'm doing, but we're going to do this. I don't know what made me think of this. What the heck made me think of this? I'm going to cut my corners so I can round out quickly. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I know more than it. No, I don't know. I like to cut off the excess. And all these little extra pieces on the side, I save it for Brenda. She likes all that to use because she sews as well. She wants all your craps and your shavings, all your scraps, of, like all this. She wants it all. Thank her for getting me into sewing. Um, just like the Bronx Knitter Sharon V. She has a channel on here, Moms With Yarn. You could check her out if you're a knitter. Amazing channel. And um, yeah, I made a boo-boo in here, but that's okay. It's my mistake. I'm folding it over, bringing it over. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But you're here with me and that's why we learn together. It's not perfect, but it's mine. Always remember this. When you're learning and sewing, perfection is not key. It's the attempt that matters. It's the fact that you started, you finish, errors and all, or creative techniques or whatever to get the project going. Don't let anyone tell you any different, honestly. I, I am truly being honest with that. I, I really... <sighs> I had to learn the hard way when I see people with their makeup and I'm looking at them like, really? Like, you you really came outside looking like that? And I had to stop myself and I'm like, cut it out. Because I'm quite sure that's how everybody felt about me. So I'm bringing it down. I'm folding it over. And now I'm sewing on the opposite side where, um, let me bring it back up. I'm sewing on this side. So the front will be this way and there. So I'm bringing this over, over and out. Like I said, I am not perfect. I, am, I do not claim to be, so please do not judge me. This is the craziest project I undertook. I didn't even think about anything, nor did I plan this out, not at all. I don't know what I was thinking about. Oh well. 
I like it anyway. I got this feeling. about <laughs> trying to stay on the white and not on the khaki is the biggest challenge that's what I get for not measuring out correctly <sighs> the trials and errors of someone learning to sew almost got stuck in the plate for those who are still here watching thank you so much i appreciate your support and just being here turning another corner indeed crazy like Bella oh finally we're done Christmas we're done okay This is the craziest little project that I ever made. Errors and all. <laughs> I had to laugh. Look at how crazy this is. This looks like some school project that I did. It would have been nice to do if I was still in junior high school. Let me bring this camera closer, please. This is the funniest thing I've done. <laughs> okay. Hi, babies. My guppies. Listen, this is the craziest thing I made, but... can sit it down you can use this technically as a pot holder handle well it may you know if you would like to do a pot holder we can measure out our hands and do one together um, practice a little bit more bias tape or using bias tape which this is it instead of using something bigger I had the nerve to use something that was less than an inch this is what I was using the hem of my shirt, which it should have been double. Yes, a coaster. This is what I was trying to tell everybody. A simple coaster. 
washable. You can make your own for a picnic. Uh, you could do uh, like um, a housewarming if you want to keep practicing. I left my placemat in the living room. It is not in here. Sorry. <laughs> right now, you got to forgive me. I haven't... Oh, my gosh. It's that hot. Well, I'm, I'm that hot. A coaster. How do you like it? Um... This is not the best material, only because it's knit and it sheds, but it's mine. Hi, Shirley. Yes, it is. It is. It is very quick. Um, you definitely want to maintain measurements. You definitely want to use a better bias tape, which this you can get from your local fabric store. You see how it folds up? So you would you would open it up. So open it, sew this, it, sew this down, and then fold this over. So next time we can use this. We can work on the, um, I have a longer piece. What do I do with it? See, this is what happens. This is why I need to organize my room ASAP pronto. Thank you all so much. How did you like this project? What did you think? Um, should we make some more coasters? Maybe measure our hands and create a bigger pot holder. Like this is a coaster, so now we can create a pot holder to measure our hands. Like, see, this is good, but my thumb would get burnt. So I definitely want something that's this wide, as wide as this. So it would be. more than six inches in width so we can do that we can do it about seven or eight inches in width and the size of hand we definitely want we could do this man this is nothing we got this so if y'all want to see this go down i will start looking into what i have here i know i have everything but again it's using t-shirt material as this and it's thin it's not thick, it's not bulky, definitely washable, machine wash and dry, simple, sweet, to the point. I like it. I really do. I can't believe I did that live. <laughs> so talk to me. What's everybody doing? Who's on here? I see Shirley's on here. Lorraine, you're on here. Who else? Coleman, Miss J. Miss J. Miss J. This is my I'm I'm feeling stupid right now I did go shopping at Lord and Taylor's if y'all don't know Lord and Taylor's is closing yeah your simple old white t-shirts blue t-shirts I use the white t-shirt that is stained this is beyond yellow you can't really see but it is discolored it is so old look at it you can see it right there is it this color? But it smells so good. I love when I wash my clothes. I love the smell of them. And I Buzz Agent sent me some Unstoppables, some packets, and I had the nerve to go out and buy Downy Odor. The new one, Downy is Odor Something Defense. And I used it on some towels that was smelling greasy. You know, Lord & Taylor's is overrated. That's that's the bougie people store. I can care less about it. There, I prefer Macy's, hands down. Macy's is everything. Lord & Taylor's, the cheapest item I purchased was under $4. The most expensive thing was Tahiri, Tahari, $49.50 regular price. Well, no, she's saying they're saying that it was $68 for the um pants at $69 and I spent $49.50. Fine. I don't mess when it comes to slacks. I need good slacks. I don't want stretchy. I need nice, comfortable slacks. So I got a pair. 
and everything else was tops and preparing for next year because uh, my birthday's in seven months go figure I didn't realize we got three months for the year seven months to my birthday it's like you gotta be kidding me three months left to the year but yes Lord and Taylor is closing it's an overrated shop let's keep it real even those rich people What's taken over, like everybody said, is Amazon. Everybody's ordering online, Fashion Nova, Amazon. Everybody's finding everything online. You can find what you want online, but you the, the shops, you know, lose out. Now, Macy's on 34th Street is iconic, and that is um, historical. It goes way back when for the parades. Yes, Lord and Taylor had their windows, but I really didn't care for it. And if you go up Fifth Avenue, you see that there's a lot of shops closing down. The Dwayne Reed that was on the corner of 34th and 5th is shut. Yes, they're closed down. You have them that closed down. You have some other shops going up the, up the strip. The reality is that even when people come here, the tourists come to New York... They don't want to spend the arm and a leg like they're back at their country. They want bargains. I tell you, I might as well charge for being a bargain shopper with these tourists. I could definitely charge a fee and tell them, you want me to take you to where the sales are at? Let's go. Here's a fee. I will take you to all of them and what have you. Because Macy's hands down has the best. Even when they don't have a sale, you hit their clearance sections on every floor. You're going to find something. Especially if you have youth, you know, the kids on the seventh floor. I remember getting Sean John jeans for $9.99. I bought them for my godson and my friends. And my both of my godson. My no. Bought it for my godson. And my godson's brother. So they both got jeans. $9.99. Like I bought Shakira when she was um doing Juicy, Juicy Couture. She got the jeans, $19.99, and not from Dr. J's on Southern Boulevard in the Bronx because they were faded out and they look replicated. They didn't look authentic. So I went straight to Macy's where I knew I was going to get the exact name brand, no deviation. You get apple bottoms, you get everything authentic from Macy's. So I was able to get her Juicy Couture jeans when it was out, when she was into that. All of them were $20. Like... Even my friend who's very petite and little and she wears Junior's clothing, she got everything from there. Even for me, like, I found Tommy Hilfiger has the best jeans for me. They fit my bottom and they fit my legs. They're not super tight. They're not super long. They're just right. And I loved it. So I love Macy's hands down. So as much as Lord and Taylor's is, you know, oh well, it doesn't do anything. No sweat off my back. Now if Macy's, I would have a problem. Because I have my people there, especially at the Mademoiselle Chanel counter. Yeah, Willie knows me. <laughs> but I'm going to let y'all go. I hope you like this session. I'm going to keep it on. I'm not going to take it down. I'm just going to put a nice little thumbnail on that and, um, and, and leave it as that. If I could put a thumbnail on this video, I will. And just thank you all so much for making a coaster with me. Yay! What did you make? Definitely, um, you could in message me on my Facebook Messenger. You have me on Facebook like page. I will post a picture of this on my like page now within the next few minutes. And that way, if you created something during this time together, I want you to post it underneath my post. Put it in the comments. Oh, you're such a Lorraine. I can't wait to see you again. October 27th, you back in the Bronx. That's right. We're going to do the Bronx Night Market. We're going to be chillaxing. We're going to enjoy it because I want some more Bronx ales. I do. That was so delicious. It was so refreshing. So I want to get a few more. I'm going to bring, see if I bring my little go-kart with me and get some other stuff there. Do a little shopping. Who knows? It's It's whatever swings my boat. I don't know. But good night, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm going to post this on my Facebook like page. Thank you, Shirley. I want to post everybody what you was doing during our comment. If you were sewing with me, I want you to post a picture of what you was doing under the comment of my post in the comment section. If you was knitting or crocheting like Shirley, then throw it on there. Anybody who was doing what have you.
just comment on that. I love you all, and until next time. Later. Bye, sweetie. Good night.